Oh boy, fellas, Zoe is gonna win at your service. And for today's workout, we're going to be working chest. Um, as I have been upping the ante with a lot of my workouts lately, um, I think we could do the same thing for chest and have some pretty good results. What I'm thinking is uh, we'll do some basically uh, bench presses, but with the dumbbells. It's not going to be the full weight of, you know, an Olympic bar, but it should still be pretty good. We're going to immediately follow up those set, uh, each of those, with a set of chest flies. And then, uh, to finish it out, we're going to be doing decline push-ups, uh, basically until failure. Um, and the way we do them, we're going to be, I think they're called deficit push-ups, where we're going to be going down, holding for three seconds, and then pushing back up. Um, should be interesting, I'll call those deficit declines. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So, as mentioned, we are going to be... We are going to be doing uh, quite a number of workouts for the warm-up. I think I'm just going to do decline push-ups, or even just regular push-ups. Yeah. Yeah, I like that idea. Should be a nice, easy warm-up. We don't need to go insane. We don't... Because we're all... It's all going to be working the chest. So let's actually, uh... Switch this back. We'll do regular push-ups. Uh, probably about 20 of them. Actually, I'll keep my, uh, sh my slippers on for this. It'll give me a little more traction than my socks. Nice. Nice and easy. Just a quick warm-up. Honestly, because I'm so used to doing the decline push-ups, I might not even include those. Um, because, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that felt like the most nothing work, the most nothing exercise I've done in a while. That was a breeze. Um, let's get started with the actual ones. This is going to be uh, fun, this is going to be interesting, making sure I'm not going to hit anything. very quickly move these this I can probably put in my room real quick Chest flies. These will be fun. I haven't done these in a while. When was the last time I did them? I should actually check that. What was the. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. Who's this? I don't give a shit. It's been a while since I did flies.
Oh my god, I'm so sick of the ads. Because they're all just political ads. It's all just dog shite. Looks like the last I did chest flies, I did 20, or, uh, yeah, 20 pounds each. Alright, cool. So then I'm gonna increase the weight. <laughs> oh. Increase the weight, decrease the wraps. Let's do the full set of ten. I'm feeling good. Oh, very nice, very nice. So yeah, the rest of the workout will look like that. For, for two more sets of each. And then it is... Oh, I didn't write down what I've been doing. Ah, yeah, shit. And then we'll have uh, those decline deficit push-ups till failure. Push-ups. One set of ten. We'll call we'll call the first one a dumbbell bench. Chest flies. Deficit decline push ups. That'll probably, I'll probably put that in the, for the uh, dumbbell bench, I'll probably do uh, the combined weight. So that'd be 50. Uh, chest flies, I'll put the individual weights. Although I guess if you're doing this, typically you do this one on the machine, right? Like on a, on a contraption and that one's the combined weight. So we'll just put combined weight for both of them. <sighs> Both of those are 50 pounds. Both of them were 10 reps. We'll do three sets of those. And then, till failure for the deficit decline push ups. Um, and we'll only do one set of that. That's gonna be how we finish out the workout. Oh, all right.
those chest flaps, ooh, ooh, that, you can you can really feel them on the outside. Uh, freaking here, this spot here. Uh, there's that uh, tendon that goes along the outside of the armpit in the front. It also does it in the back, but I really feel that in the front. That's that's nice. It's nice to work the uh, different areas of the chest. If I remember correctly, see this is why this is why bench. Actually, I'll explain this after after these next two sets. I would like to spend this time to uh, get some creatine ready. I'm actually going to be uh, going to the dining hall after this, so I'll have plenty to eat. This isn't my creatine, that's a coffee cup. So anyway, uh, I'll be going to eat at the dining hall after this, so I'll be able to fuel the, uh, the workout. I hope they have some pretty good protein options. I really do, because sometimes it's hit or miss. <laughs> And I don't like eating carbs too too long after uh, after five. Yeah, my apologies if uh, this workout came. Oh, oh wait, if this workout came out a little bit late, I've been trying to get some work done. There's a good bit of it mounting, so and that has to take a, a precedence, unfortunately. observant of you guys may have noticed that I'm not keeping quite a uh, constant rhythm. I do have a pace that I'm sticking to, but I'm not using the momentum as though I was, you know, benching and using the bounce of the bar, basically, to help with the push and keeping that momentum going. Um, I'm trying to make sure I really feel that stretch. That's actually a benefit of using the dumbbells, is that because your hands can adjust position instead of being locked into place by the bar, you can get a much wider stretch, and I quite like that. Yes, I am taking a mini break in between before going to chest guys. Did I do nine or ten? I'll do one more. Oh. 
We're not done yet. I just wanted to put these over here instead of on the couch. Um, yeah. Uh, basically taking advantage of uh, the difference between the bar and uh, the dumbbells. I really do like the bench press though. I think because you can work pretty much the entire area of your chest just by changing the grip you have. And that's really nice. Uh, it's rather convenient that you can set up one bar and then do the same motion and work different areas of chest. Get basically the full workout just by changing where your hands are. That's cool. Um, let's see. So, in case anybody thought, ah, oh, Joey, that was a bit underwhelming yesterday for uh, the lower back exercises and the uh, upper back exercises, you know. Um, I certainly, I, I actually felt that way, I thought that way, but I just like to err on the side of caution. And I woke up today and my lower back it, it's still pretty lit up, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I still definitely feel the workout, so I definitely stopped at a good time. Um, I've injured myself far too many times, and, well, twice. Still too, too many, but, you know, both of them were for squatting and both of them were my lower back. So, I like to err on the side of caution. Um, and my main focus, it, it, it's just to strengthen my lower back so that I don't injure myself anymore. So, if I don't injure myself, that's a good thing. If it feels like I worked good and hard the day before, that's a good thing. That's all I'm really focused on. Uh, basically avoiding injury in the future. And I think I did a, I made a good call yesterday, is what I'm getting at. Um, so even though I was skeptical and just, oh, is this a good workout? It was a good workout. Today, today reaffirmed it. I might, I might have been, I might have hurt myself yesterday if I kept going. And that's not what we want. So yeah, let's see, what else is happening? There's not much. Um, ooh, let me write this down. Not much is happening since yesterday. Some stuff came in the mail, it's primarily uh, some more yarn that I was working with, a nice emerald green. Um, and I also got some pretty cool, potentially, uh, glow-in-the-dark yarn. Um, if it's a nice, strong glow-in-the-dark, that's... I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Um, and it should be fun to mess around with, uh, even just... Ooh, actually, now that's an interesting idea. Here, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me ramp my ideas just a little bit. So, this is the glow-in-the-dark yarn, um, and it's white, but it might, you know, glow in the dark. I don't actually know. I didn't test it yet. And if it's wrong, well, then I'm returning it. But you know what's a pretty cool idea? If I take something like a white yarn and use it with that, it'll have accents of glow in the dark, but in the light, it'll look completely uniform. Ooh, that's a good idea. I like that idea. That'd be nice and subtle. Ooh. <laughs> uh, that'd be weird. I have fun though. That's what's important to me. Let's get going on this next set. on the floor because I can already I can 
see that it's just yearning to jump over the side like a fucking lemming. And again, just a quick break in between because we are working essentially the same area. So I don't wanna I don't wanna completely wear myself out and fatigue myself. Because then you get chest fatigue. Ooh, that one's the worst. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make sure I uh, stretch well and good after this. Ooh. I think my uh, form was a little bit rough on the first half of that set. I think I was mostly uh, pushing forward as opposed to bringing together and doing the fly motion. But uh, I corrected that. I think I corrected that well enough for at least the latter half. Oh. Now just give me about a minute, another break. Whew. And then you'll see exactly what I mean for the uh, deficit push-ups. Again, we're going to, it's going to be the same thing, the decline push-ups that we all know and love. But at the very bottom, I'm gonna try and hold for three seconds. Um, and I'll count it out. Um, my counting might be a bit weird, but I try to, I, it'll sound zero, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. So you might say that that's four seconds, but if you just count up one, two, three, that's only two seconds. One to three, that's, that's two. A timer starts at zero, so. It's a bit weird and I count in three eighth time just because that helps me stay accurate. Don't ask why. I don't have an answer. But yeah. Oh, how long have we been going for? All right, 24 minutes. Not bad, not bad. I won't take too much longer then. That looks about right. And this one's to failure. So there are no breaks in between. Uh, there's not more than one set. We'll just keep doing this until I basically collapse.
so just five it looks like. <laughs> Ooh, those are a bit different, I like them. It's to be expected that we wouldn't be able to pump out a, a 20 of those or something. After all, we just did a bunch of other chest workouts, and those are interesting. It, it, it's interesting, it completely stops and makes sure your momentum is completely dead while still stretching and straining the muscle. Because you're still basically holding yourself there, you're still holding yourself up. It's a constant drain. It's interesting. I kind of like it. I don't know how efficient or efficacious that was, but yeah. Um, regardless, though, I thought this was a pretty good workout. Um, and yeah, I hope you had a good time. I hope to see you here again, and I hope you have a good rest of your night. Take care, fellas.